Hello, everybody. Good evening. And uh, I'm on a little bit late. Anthony Rodriguez Walking Crow for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. And I just came on to wish you all a happy new year, a happy new start to the rest of your life. Are you ready to be in the being of your doing and the doing of your being of your life? Sometimes, um, you know, we get a hitch in our get along and, and we don't move so well. When we come into the new year, we make resolutions and, and we make broken promises to ourselves before we even break the promises to ourselves of a rev resolution. You know, and I'm going to ask you not to make a resolution to yourself, not to continue in a way of breaking promises to yourself that you'll never keep and you won't keep and you can keep. I hope. Now, I'm not saying this to be negative. Anybody who follows me knows that I speak the way I do for a reason. Because I know that for a lifetime we've made resolutions. For a lifetime we have have broken promises. But I'm going to ask you. Oishino. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to make restitution to yourself for a lifetime of no's? I'm going to ask you, are you ready to say yes to yourself after a lifetime of no's or I don't know's or I can't or I won't or I shouldn't or I didn't? Oh, oh, I understand all these things because that was me. I am no longer willing to stand still. I am no longer to, uh, willing to be... Um, a tree that gets knocked down by the four winds. And what are your four winds? Oh, is it the judgment of other people? Is it the opinion of other people? Is it the thought of other people and what they think of you with regards to who you are and what you do? And can I ask you a question? Why would you care? Why should you care? Why do you care? Aho shinase. Aho shinase. Aho shinase. Now, I'm, I, a lot of you have struggled and talked about how 2018 was just a terrible year. Well, did you forget 2017? <laughs> and I went back to look at that, looked at some of my videos as we moved from 2017 to 2018, and I was talking about the gifts that came out of 2017. Those experiences that you had that you carried into 2018, and hopefully you worked through those experience, those experiences, <clears throat> and those experiences became medicine for other people or yourself in how to get from point A to point B. <clears throat> Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten how how hard and how lousy and how depressing 2017 was? I don't I haven't forgotten people's words. I haven't forgotten people's posts. I haven't forgotten the depression that this country went into when we elected a fool. And that's the only way I can put it. Now I'm not gonna say any more about that person other than that. Okay, so move on from that. Move on from 2018. Move into 2019 and put yourself on your pedestal. Put yourself in the sights of your scope of what you want to do, of what you want to be, of where you want to go and how you want to get there. Aho, shina wana say. Aho, shina wana ho. Now, I'm not the answer to getting there for you. But I am a way to get there for you. Aho. Whether you need drumming, or you want to have a drumming session with me, whether you want to have an energy healing session with me, and both these things can be done remotely. Whether you're a young person coming into your medicine, coming into your awakening, coming into your spirituality, coming into your understanding of, of what's happening in your life and how you want to be and where you want to go in your life, but you don't know how to get there. I can help mentor your mentor you to that place. I hope, I hope. I do online mentorings and limiting them to five people at a time. We do it through Zoom. You have a pin that you log in, and I do forty-five minutes of mentoring. And what it is is we are going to be having cross 
talk conversation on how you got here, where you want to go, and you can ask the questions of me of what you want to ask and what you need to know. Now, you have to know that sometimes the answer doesn't come from me because that person who is a step ahead of you may have the answer for you and they, be, they may be on the same screen. So it's a gathering and it's a, collect, it's a collective of answers. It's a collective of ebb and flow. It's a collective of transition, transforming, uh, a transcendence and transmuting. Are you ready to do these things? Are you ready to transform? Have you been ready to transform, but you haven't been able to find a way or a path to get there? Aho say. Aho say. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I have friends like lights that have answers. And you all know that. I can point you in a direction of where you need to go or who you need to see or who you need to talk to. It's not always about me and the answers that I have. Although I am an answer, I am a way, I hope I am a tool for you, if you so want that tool, I hope, I hope. So um, I came in, came on tonight, and I was going to just sing, but it's a little late for drumming, so I didn't want to drum and wake up the house, you know, not that they're asleep, but you know, keep them <laughs> on their toes with my drumming, and uh, you know, I just wanted to say hello and offer my offerings, I hope, I hope. So, uh, uh, some of the offerings that I do have is mentoring, is coaching, um, is healing and mentoring at the same time. I do readings where uh, you can call me and you can have a session with me and I will read what's going on with you as you tell me what's going on. I start to go through those things and I start to get downloads of what's happening with you and how you can um, manifest a different way of being. I, I coined the phrase the other day, being is believing. Being is believing. Being is believing. Seeing isn't believing. Hearing isn't believing. You know, listening isn't believing. But being in the being of who and what you are and who and what you have always been is the believing. Oh, and I truly wholeheartedly believe that. And I will ask you again. Oishino. Oishino, oishino. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Karena, how are you doing today? Oh, good to see you. Uh, Anthony Sainz, my brother Tony, how are you? Good to see you too. Uh, I think I saw Wendy Becker on there and some others. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, um, welcome. Welcome and Happy New Year's to you. And it's a cold night in Los Angeles, you know. I'm loving the weather, actually. Uh, I w haven't been feeling too good in the last couple of days, but I'm feeling good now. have a little peppermint that I put in my nostrils. The sinuses are draining from the allergies and the wind and all that junk. And, and to say that, I'm saying that because self-care is of the utmost importance. How many of you don't do any self-care or take care of yourself when you know you should? Or to pre have it, use it uh, use self care as a preemptive strike to getting sick or sicker or or, or or worse, right? So, you know, it's a new time. It's a new year. It's day one. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. I always say it's Tuesday. And what are you ready to choose for yourself? And are you ready to choose for yourself on Tuesday? Yesterday was Moon Day. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm glad that, that the New Year's landed on a Tuesday and you can ask yourself that question. And I will ask you to go into the bathroom, go into another part of the house where you have a mirror. And you can look into that mirror and look into your eyes and look into your heart and look into your soul and ask yourself, can I? Will I? Should I? Do I? Oh, and then say to yourself, wait for it. Say to yourself, yes, yes, I want to. Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Yes, I do. Oh, oh. As much as you can say yes to yourself, you've had lied to yourself and kidded yourself with resolutions. And I harp on resolutions at this type of time of year because you all know what I'm talking about. 
You know, I um people make the resolution to lose weight and to change the way they eat and to do all that stuff, you know, because they're not happy with the way they look. But it's not about the way they look. It's about the way they feel about themselves. They're busy thinking about the way they look because they hear other people, you know, spreading that gossip and all that junk. And that doesn't work. All that does is, 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 is break down the ego and, and, and your, your self-esteem and gives you low or no self-esteem because you're trying to live up to the, uh, the unspoken or the spoken expectations of others. And I will ask you to listen to your feelings. Listen to the still small voice of the way you feel about yourself. Do you want to change your life? Do you want to change the physical appearance? Yes or no? And if the answer is yes, change the, 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 the uh, emotion and how you approach the emotions and you can do what I did. I was 238 pounds, a 38 waist, 238 pounds, a 38 waist. I said it twice. And I'm, I was, I'm only 5'8". <laughs> that's a big dude. That's a white. I think I was whiter than I was tall. And and when people ask me how I did that, they want to know what diet I was on. There was no diet. Stop using words that you don't understand. D I E hyphen T die. Die is the first part of that word. And I had to die in and of myself to change my soul to recalibrate my soul, to cre recalibrate my appetite, recalibrate my body, recalibrate, re 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 recalibrate everything about myself. I had to stop feeding the, oh, excuse me, I had to stop stuffing the hole and I had to start feeding my soul. Are you ready to feed your soul? Are you ready to die in and of yourself? just like the acorn has to die to become the mighty oak. I am the mighty oak. I am the mightiest of oaks because I stand in my truth. I stand in my wisdom. I stand in my foundation and I may lose my leaves and I may lose a branch, but I do not fall to the four winds. I stop falling to the four winds because I am rooted and I am fruited. I, hold. I, I extend my branches out and up and all of you know because those who listen to me are listening to me now and will listen to me later and will listen to me tomorrow and listen to me yesterday. I hold. I hold. So you know that I'm telling the truth and truth is all you need to seek. Speak your truth, not somebody else's truth. Find the truth in yourself that, that you've had stuck here in the fifth chakra. You know, speak your authentic self, not the self that you think others want to hear from you because others really don't care, but you need to care about how you speak of yourself. You need to care about the things that you need to say and find the right person who will listen to you. I hope, whether it's a mentor, whether it's a good friend, whether it's a, a spouse, whether it's a boyfriend, whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's just somebody from your, from your life. I hope, somebody at the office, some stranger on the street who may not care or may not be vested or invested, but you can say what you need to say because you need to say it. I hope. The Bible says about the good news the Christ consciousness, write it down, go and tell, go tell it on the mountain. The mountain is earth. This is direction of the North medicine, direction of wisdom, direction of rest, um, direction of all our relations, all our ancestors, a whole, allow them to be with you in their wisdom. So you gain wisdom. You gain a wisdom that you don't have about how to, where to, and when to. A whole, a whole. All right. You know what? I'm so happy that I was able to come on tonight. It wasn't my plan. And uh, Spirit said, you know, you know what you got to do. And so I used a beautiful rattle that, I was, that was painted by a good friend of mine. And I'm burning a little um, sweet grass, which is so amazing. And I want you to know that tomorrow morning, when this, as the sun rises, I will be in the backyard. And I will be crafting and birthing buffalo hide drum earth medicine. And if you want a piece of that or a part of that, and that you feel like a drum is part of your medicine, contact me and you can buy one of those drums. 
or we can we can you can host a transformational sacred drum making journey there i don't call them a workshop a workshop because we're not crafting anything we are birthing medicine and everything is done in a sacred way in a ceremonial way in a way that you will never forget and you will be totally a uh, uh, 100% a part of invested and invested in that medicine a whole. You'll have an understanding of the animal. You'll have an understanding of the tree, the grandmother tree, the frame, you know, and you'll have an understanding of um, what it takes to birth this sort of medicine, not just make something. We're not just going to be making something. Well, all right. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow at like Seven when there's when the sun is rising, I'll be out there in that cold wind again, and I'll be doing that, you know. So I'm gonna sing us out. I want to thank everybody for coming, and you know, send blessings to your neighbor. Send this video and share this video with your neighbor if you will, um, you know, because you never know who it is that needs to hear what I just finished talking about. Okay, I hope, I hope. Once again, Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine, asking you to have a beautiful, beautiful 2019. You're in the starting gate, and I'm going to ask you one more time to make restitution to yourself for a lifetime of failed resolutions and broken promises. Aho, aho, shino wana honata, aho, shino wana hei. Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine, asking you to have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful first night of the new year. Happy Tuesday, and choose the blessings that are best for you. Oi shino, oi shino, oi shino. <laughs>